Oh, hi, Sam. Oh, hi, Kev. How are you doing? I'm okay, thanks. Are you? Samantha, look. Beautiful outside, Beautiful. isn't it? Beautiful. I just need to get a little bit more, um, more tan. A little bit more tan. Yeah, it's all looking a bit... The pins have come out for the first time this year. Not too bad, not too bad. Yeah, could be work, could be better, could be better though. You know what I mean? Might have to get the old in shower tan on. Oh yeah. With the old uh, Saint Tropez. Saint Tropez, yeah. Good gear that. Yeah, it's very good. Uh, right, are you uh, ready to crack on? I'm ready. A bit of tittle tattle, haven't we? Just a little bit of chit chat there. Yep. Uh, people at home, just going, just get with it. Yeah. Yes. Uh, right, this is how it's going to work. Lovely Samantha behind the camera. She's going to take you around the outside. I'll tell you a little bit about the car. Uh, then we'll take you inside, then we'll take you for a ride. And what we've got here is a very nice, quite rare car, this one. Yeah. Uh, VW Polo GT DSG Automatic. Yeah. Woo! Woohoo! Okay, Sam. Okay. Uh, let's roll. So this is a, as I said, Polo 1.4 bulletproof TSI engine, uh, Blue Motion Tech, ACT, DSG, any more acronyms? <laughs> it's the Blue GT. Blue GT. Uh, three door, Euro 5 petrol, so it's all ULE Zappi, 140 PS, so it's got some... Oh! It really has got some, hasn't yeah, it? you drove this. I did. You were like, oh yeah. I was like, wow. Uh, 1313, just over 70,000 miles, uh, in black. Yep. Yeah. Uh, full service history. I think we've got to do a cam belt on it. Yeah, we have. Um, well, I think we've got to do an oil change as well. So yeah. that's all going to be done. Yeah. With a new MOT. All done with a new MOT. Days. Not sixty. Not sure. Just under eight seconds. Not bad. Pretty rapid. Yeah. Uh, in fact, that's quicker than my Mark One Golf GTI. <laughs> uh, top speed, hundred and thirty miles an hour. Engine power 138 brake, 185 pound of torque. Annual tax? Very low, but I can't remember what it is. I'm going to show you what it is, Sam. Are you? I'm going to show you what it is. All right, I'm waiting for it. It is just one of them. 20 pounds? 20 quid, mate. 20, 20 quid. squids. Yeah. Tell nice. them the car, dude. I still carry cash. <laughs> uh, 20 squids, people. Yeah. Well, what I really like about this car is the really boring bit. Uh, 49 miles to the gallon around town. Nice. 61 uh, combined. 72 on a run. Blimey. Get that. Can't get better than that, can you? Well, I imagine you could, but it's not much better. <laughs> well. Um, not from a GT. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, should we... Go? I'm going to point a couple of bits out. All so right. We're going to do some touch-ins. Just a couple of stone chips that we'll yeah. do. A um, couple of annoying little bits that we might touch in on the wheel. Uh, there's pictures of the wheels on the thing, but generally they're pretty good actually. We'd normally do them, but there's so few marks on them, I'm not gonna bother. Um, should we go inside? Okay, let's go. Okay, so uh, here we have the heartbeat of the vehicle, Sam. Yeah. The 1.4 TFSI engine. Wicked engine, isn't they? Very good engine. Pretty yeah. strong, really reliable, very powerful, babe. Yep, Don't very babe. powerful. Uh, right, Toby's done a nice job under here. He has. Can't get it out. Problem, problem, isn't it? <laughs> Five squats. Yeah, looking super nice. Good sweep, isn't it? Yeah, it does. Good size feel on these bad boys. Yeah, it's not a bad size, is it? Yeah, you've got a little bit more gear under there, look. Lovely. Loads of room. Yeah. Uh, seats go down, I think 60 40. Um, I'm not going to bother showing you because it's like a little van actually when they go down, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So it's got quite a lot of space. I'm going to have to get in the back here, aren't I? Yeah. Show the people what it's like. Of course. Nice interior though, isn't it? Yeah, it is a really nice yeah, interior. It looks like brand new. Yeah, it does. I mean, he did look after it, didn't he? He did so. look after it, yeah. Quite, quite a fussy man, I believe. Yeah, he was. And he loved it. He was so sad. Loved it. Bought an A-class. Bought your A-class. He did. Look at that. Are you comfy? I mean, there's a lot of room here. I, I'm, I mean, I'm going to have that seat a bit further back, but even with that, and I'm six foot one. Yeah. I'm a big boy. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm a dignified guy out there, very dignified. Yeah, though. you did, yeah. Thanks. I mean, you'd be right. You should be happy up here somewhere. <laughs> uh, right, what we got? Uh, we got your electric heated wing mirrors, your electric windows. Multi-function multi wheel with a flat, flat bottom. bottom. 
And normally I don't like a flat bottom. No, I don't think most people do. I like, like a bit a of shape bottom. to it. But on a steering wheel, love a flat yeah, bottom. Yeah, love a flat bottom, yeah. yeah. Um, so we can do all our phone stuff. It has got, these are funny old units. So what VW oh, yeah. used to do, they used to do these things, which was like um, a berry things. system they yeah, were. I feel like a, it's a hands-free system, but it does do Bluetooth music streaming. It's shite. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Because uh, it plays out the front speakers or one of the speakers or something. It's weird. Yeah, it's strange. Um, but it's there if you want it. But it's it. there, yeah. yeah. Uh, right, let me just turn that on a second. So we've got uh, air conditioning. We've got... I'm turning this on a second. Right, it's probably past four now. Going there. Um, what we got? Flappy paddles? Yep. Flappy paddles. Sports yep. mode. Uh, radio. We've got... Old school FM and AM, you can stick your media thing into it. Yeah. It's got a disc thing, doesn't it? Uh, it's got nav. Love that. Traffic. Yeah. Mobile phone through it. Cruise. And it, uh, yeah, on the right on the end there, on the other stalk. Oh, yeah. It's got cruise control, well done. Uh, it's got Amidazzle dazzle mirror. It's got quite a lot of gear in it. Yeah, it actually has, hasn't it? I'm very impressed. Sporty. Very sporty. That's like me, Sam. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, don't be too uh, quick to not confirm. You are sporty. Me. I'm actually very impressed with this car. Yeah. Good spec. Auto stop start. Yeah. And the uh, slip. Call it traction control. Yep. What okay, you want? I think we've done enough there. It's nice in here, though. Yeah, it I've is. Got to say, happy day. It's got auxiliary in if you want to do it properly with your phone. Nice. Plug it in, can't you? Yeah. Uh, should we go for a ride? Yeah, let's go. Come on in, babe. Uh, hi, Sam. Hi, Kev. Uh, we're going for a ride, babe. We certainly are. Um, I might get into sports mode in a bit. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think we should. Ooh, yeah. Sick. Right. You know I'm going to ask you. You're going to ask me the competition with this bad boy? I'm going to ask you what there is, yes, as competition for this bad boy. Okay. So, initial thoughts are the Audi A1. Oh, what a car that is. What a car, we love an Audi A1. Great car. Um, and then we've same, the same car, and same engine really, isn't yeah. it? Same all that, yeah. Yeah, um, and then the Ford Fiesta. Yeah, decent car. Yeah, they go down quite well, don't they? Yeah, they're all right. Yeah. They're just a slightly lower rent version of this and the A1, right? Yeah, and then there are others, but they're not quite quite in the same ballpark. No, they? there's some other really good cars, like the Kia Rio and yeah. uh, i20. Okay. Uh, See it, Ibiza. See it, Ibiza. Oh yeah, see it, Ibiza. It's just yeah, this little, yeah. you know, same same car basically. Yeah, no, that's true. Um, but the VW, you know, the build quality is excellent, isn't it? Yeah. The dash is all pucker. There's no cheap plastics in it. And this is a little flying machine. It certainly so is. What I'm going to do once we get out of this bloody bumpy Very road, bumpy, isn't it? Yeah. Soaking up relatively well, though, you know. Well, this is why I'm glad I don't have any boobs. Right. I'm in sport. Okay. We're going to get it out onto the open road here. And give it some paint. Right, let's test this. Oh, spin. Oh, oh! Ah, 60. Impressive! What, me or the car? The car. Okay, I think I've revved the nuts off that now. Yeah. So, we're now doing <coughs> 60. Pretty quiet. Comfy sheets, aren't they? Yeah, really comfy. I just need to recline a bit more, Sam. Yeah. Yeah, really comfy. Do you know, you could do some miles in these, can you, on the yeah, road? 100%, so yeah, 100%. So these are these are great, right? Because the, 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 this shaped polo is the same size as the original Golf. Did you know that? I didn't know that. Oh, every day's a school day with me, my love. It is. Um, so what you get is you get a sort of big car feel in a small car. Yeah. And what I love about the and the Fiesta's really good at it as well, and the Audi, you can bomb along the motorway at 70, because we don't condone doing anything over 70, no. um, which they will do very nicely. Um, but it's very comfortable on a long journey, but around town they're amazing, aren't they? Yeah, they are really, really good. This one's been obviously well looked at. What was the chap's name? Uh, Reggie. Reggie, that's the one, yeah. Reggie, it was nickname, wasn't it? It was really yeah. Name. They had a rubbish name like me. Yeah, Kevin. Mario. Mario, Mario yeah. Kevin. Yeah. No wonder he called himself Reggie. <laughs> I perhaps should go for something different other than Kevin. No, it's not too bad. I mean, no one ever calls me Kevin. They call me other, other stuff. But I'm not allowed to say it on the 
the telly. No, yeah, I don't, I don't do that sort of thing. Yeah, we eliminate the uh, kids can watch it thing. Yeah. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> That's just my wife <laughs> calling me for dinner. <laughs> uh, anyway, back to the car. Uh, so, to um, summarise, yeah, thanks. Um, if you're looking for a good value, excellently built, well looked after, small car? Small hatchback, yep. Yeah. Buy this one. Buy this one. Do you know why you want to buy this one? Because you get to deal with us. Get to deal with us, yes, obviously, but with the car, it drives brilliant. It's so much fun. Uh, no changing gear. Loads and loads and loads of power. Really frugal. Looks the business. Certainly does. What more do you want? Well, let's go again. I did quite like it. I've forgotten how well this had. Let me just chuck it in here, just quickly. Thank you. I might go into, oh yeah, let's go into manual mode here. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I tell you what, that manual gear change is pretty good, but what a great car! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you know what? I don't think I'm going to sell it. No. I think I'll keep it. You want it, didn't you? Yeah. New company car. I think I'll keep it. Oh, I've got a new one in my view. <laughs> right. Um, before we digress any further, let's finish off Samantha. Say goodbye to the people, and there'll be a couple of minutes to the end. Just tell you what we give away as an RSA approved dealer. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye. Hi guys, I uh, hope you've enjoyed your video so far. We're just going to spend a couple of minutes to tell you what we give away as an um, RAC approved dealer and basically what package you get from A1. Uh, Samantha's behind the camera again, she's going to fire a few questions at me and I'll just explain what we, what we do. Perfect, so we're just going to start off with why should a customer buy from A1 and what makes us different? Well, I think probably the customer service we give is second to none. By all means, go on to Google, check out our reviews. If you're on Auto Trader, check out our reviews there and you'll see a bit about what we do. We're a family run business, been going nearly a couple of decades and uh, we just give really good service and we prepare cars to a very, very high standard. What does it mean to be RAC approved and what is included in the sale? Well, being an RAC approved dealer, we inspect every vehicle to RAC standards. So it goes through a pre-delivery inspection that's very vigorous and if anything needs doing um, where it doesn't hit those standards it obviously gets uh, done prior to sale uh, you get a, a RAC warranty RAC breakdown cover for a year and um, you can extend the warranty from six months all the way up to three years that is a platinum warranty uh, which is the best we can give away um, you also get uh, a year's MOT if the car hasn't been serviced within four uh, is due a service within four months or four thousand miles we'll also do that prior to the sale. What finance packages does A1 offer? So finance wise, we generally use close motor finance. We do use um, Motor Novo as well. Uh, the rates are as good as we can buy um, and we don't put any anything extra onto the rates at all. We just give you what the finance company gives us. You can have PCP uh, if a car is up to five years old or 60,000 miles. Straight HP, we do leasing and lease purchase and hire purchase. And there's very various different uh, finance deals out there, but we'll tailor make it to what you need. Does A1 provide after sales care for their customers? Yeah, we certainly do. If you're local to us in Sussex, um, we've got a lot of Brighton based customers and a lot of people around, obviously, Burgess Hill and Hayward Heath. So yeah, we do uh, servicing, MOTs, repairs, um, bodywork repairs, detailing, all of that kind of stuff. Uh, and I think, Sam, have we covered everything? I think so. I think that's pretty much it. If you've got any more questions, just give us a call. Thanks very much. Thanks for watching.